Uh, it's a rare, so it's a special great. interview mm -hmm. with the one, the only Doris Day. Oh, can't wait to share that with you. <laughs> it is no, uh, I can't wait. And whatever will we'll be, be, just lay out we'll be, be, be. The future's not ours to see. Good Morning America continues live from Times Square with Robin Roberts and George Stephanopoulos. I heard you, Ginger. You were telling me get out. Oh, yeah. I'm dancing over here. I'm so in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kesara, the legendary Doris Day, a revealing conversation with her is just ahead. But first, what let's turn to Josh Elliott. All right, guys. A lot of news this morning. We'll see more of this story tonight on Nightline. And coming up here, Kesara, Sara. Come on, Robin. Come on. It's a big exclusive. Uh, and you know, when a Hollywood be. legend. Doris Day, only on GMA. That is Doris Day singing Quesada. Doris Day is a Hollywood legend. Her co-stars were Hollywood's top leading men. And do you see this? This is a limited edition Barbie version of characters she and Rock Hudson played in the classic Pillow Talk. I love that movie. They're in the same clothes for the movie. Oh, you know what? Yes. For the girls. For the girls. Yeah, they're going to fight over. That was very smooth how you did that. I was just pulling it away. You were totally on it. What did you flip for? What did I talk about? I'm a daughter. She has brand new music that is coming out today, and she's going to tell us. Um, That's amazing. Doris Day with brand new, new music. music. She's dropping the singles today. Whole album. Sorry about the choke. <laughs> <laughs> yes. sorry, what? It's no. such big news. She was one of Hollywood's biggest legends. We're talking about Doris Day, America's original sweetheart. And she, you know, she turned her back on Hollywood three decades ago and has rarely been seen or heard from since until now. Miss Day is releasing her first album of new material in almost 20 years. It's called My Heart. And that's exactly what she opened up to, to all of us in that exclusive interview. Worldwide favorite star, Doris Day. She was a girl from Cincinnati, Ohio, who became one of the most successful stars in Hollywood history, appearing with some of the biggest names of the day. Or maybe you could just listen to the criticism. Could I try writing one? I was practically jaywalking. No, no, you had a perfect right to be standing on the curb. Yes, Mr. Webster. Uh, Mr. Ramsey here tells me that you spoke to him. Oh, Mickey, how could you? Doris Day prefers not to go on camera anymore, but she allowed us the honor of a rare and special phone interview. The occasion, her first album in 17 years called My Heart. What a day for a daydream. How exciting is this for you? It's just wonderful. I can't believe it, really. If you want to know the truth. Her fans have never stopped enjoying Day's music. She released more than three dozen albums over her career. Your classics like K Sera Sera. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's 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 timeless, Miss Day. I think it's because um, the children like it too, and I think all the parents would sing it to them. K Sera Sera. But it was on the silver screen where she had her biggest success. The original Girl Next Door. I never thought that I was going to be in, mo in movies. When I was little, I, was, I had my life planned. I was going to marry a very nice man and have two babies and learn to cook. And nothing like that happened. Instead, Hollywood came calling. 39 films in all. Miss Morrow, why are you so fascinated with my personal affairs? I'm not fascinated, Mr. Allen. Revolted. You, you and that. Rock Hudson. Pillow Talk was, was some time ago, but people just, they, they just hang on to that, Miss Day. Uh, from the first day, we laughed. <laughs> he was very funny. Really a funny guy. And, um, and Rock became a very, very good friend of mine. He, he, funny that he called me Eunice. 
he, he always gives people names. And, and he'd come into the makeup department in the morning, and I'd hear, Eunice? He'd be always, I'm here. What are some other leading men, some other um, actors that you worked with that you really appreciated? Clark Gable. I love Clark. He was darling. Just what are you after? Uh, well, that's pretty hard to put into words. Uh, Rock Hudson, Jimmy Garner, Clark Gable, Cary Grant. Wow. Well, Cary was fun, too. He really was. Miss Timberlake, I'm glad I almost ran you down this morning. <laughs> I am, too. And, uh, and he's so good, you know, he's such a good actor. It's got to be hard to pick a favorite, but what, what movies jump out to you that you really enjoyed? Oh, <laughs> all of them, because I had such a good time. I really did. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. And uh, my time in Hollywood was just beautiful. More than 30 years ago, Doris Day left Hollywood far behind and has since spent her days living in Carmel, California and dedicating herself to animal rights and her foundation. I became very involved with animal work. And the minute I got here, that's what I started doing. And, uh, and I love that very much. Her last movie was With Six You Get Egg Roll, released in 1968. But for those who think her star power may have faded, just look at what happened when we introduced her to a member of our own GMA family. Tracy, this is Miss Day. Oh. Hi. Sorry, I'm crying. Tracy. She's crying. She's crying. She's so happy. It's oh, Tracy? Yes. I just want to tell you how much I appreciate that. Well, I appreciate everything you've done. I've grown up with all your movies, your show, everything since I was a kid, so. I watched oh, my gosh. You're going to have me in tears. <laughs> And while Tracy dried her tears, I asked the question on so many minds. Would you ever consider doing another movie? Would you ever consider going back to Hollywood? Really not, you know, expecting that. But um, you never know what, what the, uh, the next day brings. You just never know what you're going to do. Eighty-seven years young. I hope to meet her in person one day. We we chatted. It was well, that's so the sweet to see her. Oh my God! Uh, you know she just doesn't. This is Ohio. This is from her new. It's pretty. TV. It's, from her, it's out today. It has been out in the UK since the fall and top of the charts. She's the oldest to have new music on the top of the wow. charts there we'll in the UK. Yeah. Today so, as well. And it's dedicated to her beloved son, Terry, who was a producer uh, of that album, and he died in 2004 from melanoma. So she talked lovingly about her son, and she's thinking of him. But thank you, Miss Day. It that was, was quite so a special. And Tracy's still crying. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some weather now. Ginger Z in for Sam today. Andy. You know, I've always loved, and she was always my one of my daddy's favorite, favorite singers, was Doris Day. A lot of people think that Doris Day has passed away because she's been very, very much uh, private in, her, in uh, her older age. She lives uh, very quietly in, I believe, Carmel, California. She takes care of animals. She's always been an, uh, an uh, uh, animal activist. But she's still alive, and she has just released a new CD called My Heart. And I thought maybe she had written, she had, you know, done new songs, you know. And she was one of the most underrated actresses and singers of all time. Deserves a Lifetime Oscar. Let's give her a Lifetime Oscar before the lady isn't here to have it anymore. So she sings, you heard Que Sera, Sera. That's a great song. She's 87 years old, by the way. Yes, I just yeah. said that, I thought. I, but then her, the yeah, album's called yeah. My Heart. Maybe I didn't say that. And, uh, and the well, proceeds go to animal rights. Well, but she's it never been re uh, released before. I've heard this one many times. Not by her. Dreaming about my bundle of joy. It's good. She is, um, she's, a, she's a treasure. Great. Right. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You know what else is great about it? Right. Wine time. Lots of different ways you can enjoy your wine now. You and I tried this before. Ready for the party. <laughs> so. Are we done? No, not quite. No, we'll be getting now. more songs. Come on, girl. That's right. No, but I just realized I can't be singing them like this. But you know, speaking of singing, it, this made me so happy I, I can't even believe it. 
88-year-old Doris Day is out promoting her first new CD in almost two decades. And it is called My Heart. And I gotta say, you know, it's a, uh, it's a compilation of songs and unreleased tracks that she's had over the last 40 years. But I gotta say, I'm really glad that she's out there doing this. I, I love Doris I do too. I Doris. She was a great star in her day. Yes. And, and you yes, know, Mel Brooks said the, the funniest thing one time. He said, I knew Doris Day before she was a virgin. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, what does that mean? You had to see her movies. You're too young. Oh, her movies were always about losing her virgin that she oh, wouldn't. She was holding yes. on to her virginity. Oh, you know about that. Okay, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, technically, yeah. <laughs>